I'm from Boni, Model Primary School. My name is Konsi Luwa. I'm in Primary 5. I'm 10 years old. She spoke in sign language and was very clear about her dreams. She also articulated her fears. Yeah, the only fear I have is uh, the government should have a protection to children, especially girls. For, especially for us, the disabled persons, we have a lot of enemies who are currently in our problems, especially some men get this education opportunity to get us pregnant, after pregnant, after getting pregnant, they run away and leave us with children. After now we find a number of disabled girls having children and there is nobody who is taking care of these children. And you say after now the government is not even following that case. You know after pregnant a lady, they run away and we are left with children in our hands. Our, our. Her colleagues spoke their voices out and they too had dreams and fears. And I like going to school. I wanted to become a teacher because the number of teachers in South Sudan are few. For the 30 odd 10 year olds who attended the launch of the State of the World Population Report 2016 by the government and the United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA, in the capital Juba, it was a day they heard about what threatens the world development agenda. In South Sudan, the condition of the 10 years girls in deplorable social and culture beliefs drive this practice of earlier marriage. Teenager pregnancy, school dropout, and sexual gender-based violence. The conditions is worsened with ongoing crisis where the 10 years old has to drop out of his schools. The transitional constitution of the Republic of South Sudan provides protection for girls, child, and harmful practices including child marriage. This year's State of the World's Population Report states that out of the 125 million 10-year-olds today, 60 million are girls who are systematically disadvantaged at the global level as they move through adolescence into adulthood. Speaking at the same event, the United Nations Population Fund country representative, Experience Fundira, said for millions of girls, the arrival of puberty marks the beginning of a lifetime of poverty, powerlessness, and missed opportunities. Whenever a girl cannot realize her full potential in life, she suffers an, an unforgivable injustice and a violation of her fundamental rights. When a girl enjoys her rights, is able to stay in school, stay healthy, and be protected from child marriage and early pregnancy, her full potential may be realized by the time she reaches adulthood. She will be better equipped to find a job, earn a good wage, and seize opportunities as they arise. The State of World Population Report shows that girls who reach adulthood with an education and their health and rights intact stand to triple their lifetime income. Higher incomes and greater productivity can help fuel progress for entire countries. And for the students, parents, government officials, and other non-governmental organizations in attendance, all went home without a doubt that the future of nations and communities depends on girls at the decisive age of 10.